a warm welcome to the students of first become to this first ever online class of the academic year 2020-21 the title of the english textbook that you are supposed to buy during the first semester is articulation 1 if you buy this textbook that is more than enough because it has got all the details that you are going to study during the sem there are three sections in your textbook the first section has got five essays second section has got five poems and in the third section there are five units of grammar the five units of grammar are articles prepositions question tags framing wh questions and correction of grammar mistakes or errors since many of you are yet to get a copy of the textbook i'll begin dealing with the first unit that is articles i'm sure you have studied articles in detail before you had it in the high school again you studied that in your pu classes and you are going to study articles again in the first semester what are articles so you know there are two kinds of articles in the english language definite and indefinite but what are these articles articles are words which define a noun as specific or unspecific articles can indicate whether a noun is used in its particular or general sense in other words articles are determiners or noun markers that tell us whether a noun is general or particular in its reference in a sentence look at some of the examples given here a student a girl a shop a doctor a man a boy a book an apple an animal an engineer an american an indian see when i say a student you know i am not talking about one particular student you know nothing about the student whom i am talking about so that is used in its general sense similarly when i say a girl i'm talking about a girl in general you don't know who i am talking about a shop could be in a shop a doctor not my family doctor could be in a doctor a man a boy a book these are general next an apple could be any apple an animal i haven't told you anything about the animal i'm just saying there is an animal which animal it is you don't know an engineer come on what kind of engineer we don't know an american could be any american an indian could be any indian so these are all used in their general sense so when you use the indefinite article a or an before a word that gets used in its general sense now you know a and an are indefinite articles these articles are called indefinite because when we make use of these articles we don't talk about one specific or particular or definite object or a person that's why these are called indefinite but what do these mean here a uh, the indefinite article a uh, is is a one letter word it's not a letter in the english alphabet a uh, is a one letter word in the english language and again is a word it's a two letter word 
Now, what do these words mean then? See, when I say a book, I am talking about one book. Which book? You don't know. A pen, one pen. A pencil, one pencil. An orange, one orange. An animal, one animal. So, both a and an mean one. So, wherever you use the word one, you can easily replace it by a or an. Okay? So, if you can say one book, you should be able to say a book. A pen is equal to one pen. So, what I have told you is that wherever you use one, you should also be able to use the indefinite article a uh, or an. One orange, an orange. One animal, an animal. One pencil, a pencil. One table, a table. Okay. So both a uh, and an mean one. So from this you understand that indefinite articles can be used just with a singular noun. What is a singular noun? Eka vachana namapata. See, when I talk about two books, can I use a, a books? That is wrong. See, if I am talking about one book that is singular, then I can use the indefinite article a. Uh. If I am talking about one apple, then I can use the indefinite article and before that. So, one apple, an apple. Okay. So, if I'm talking about five apples, I cannot use the indefinite article and before that. Clear? So, a and an can be used just before, before singular nouns. If there is a plural noun, don't use these indefinite articles. Similarly, if a noun is Though it is singular, uncountable, then you cannot make use of a or an just because a and an mean one. If there is a non countable noun like food, what do you eat? Food, fire, water. So these are all uncountable nouns. Can you say a fire? No, fire is uncountable. Can you say a water? No, it is uncountable. Can you say a food? No, that is uncountable. So before these words like fire, fire, food and water, you cannot use the word one. That's why you can't use indefinite articles before such words. It is wrong to say one food. So it's also wrong to say a food. It is wrong to say a water and naturally you cannot say one water, a water. Is that clear? So what do you understand from this? A and an can be used just before countable nouns. And that too, singular countable noun. So if there is singular countable noun, you can use either a or an. If there is a plural noun, you should not use these art articles. If there is an uncountable noun, you cannot use these indefinite articles. I have told you that both a and an mean the same but if they mean the same that is one the meaning is one a means one and means one so if both these articles mean the same 
why should you have two words we could have had just one word why do we have two words a is a word and is a word so what is the difference between these two there is a difference what is it to decide if you should use a before a noun or an before a noun you need to listen to the sound with which a word begins a noun begins or an adjective begins okay see in every language there are two sets of letters in its alphabet the first one vowels second one consonants and kannada you call them swaragalu and vyanjanagalu swaraksharagalu vyanjanaksharagalu but when you study articles you cannot go by the letters you can't go by the vowel letters or consonant letters you should think about or consider the sounds of the the sound with the which a word begins uh by now you must have learned that your teachers must have told you that an is used before a vowel letter a is used before a consonant letter but if you go by this rule you will make many mistakes so at the outset let me tell you that don't look at the letters here when you see a word pronounce it and try to find out what sound it begins with if a word begins with a vowel sound swara then make use of an if it begins with a consonant sound vyanjana sound then you should use a so don't blindly go by a e i o u if you think that a e i o u should take an you will make mistakes so forget about the vowel letters concentrate just on the sound with which a word begins see read what is written here use a if the word begins with a consonant sound okay and use an if the word begins with a vowel sound okay so a goes with consonant sound and goes with vowel sound not letters look at the examples given here a man look at the word man what sound does it begin with the word man begins with the sound ma ma is is it a vyanjana or a swara is it a consonant or a vowel you know ma is a vyanjana vyanjana is consonant so it should take a before that okay a man ma is a consonant sound so it goes with a uh. look at the next one apple see the word apple begins with the sound a a is a vowel so you can't use a uh, that is an an apple so a uh, man ma the word man begins with the sound ma so consonant apple begins the sound begins with the sound a so an next one card the word card begins with the sound ka ka is a consonant vyanjana so a is used next one an angry boy so there are three words in this expression an article angry adjective boy noun so this goes we here article goes with the adjective not the noun because it comes just after the article so article should agree with the adjective here pronounce the word angry what sound do you hear 
angry when you say angry again a a is a vowel so you should use an say so this an angry boy next one a perfect circle a perfect perfect again adjective perfect begins with the word p pa pa is a consonant so you should use a so a man ma an apple a a card ka an angry a perfect a perfect circle pa that goes with a so if a word begins with a consonant sound use a if it begins with a vowel sound use an don't look at the letters concentrate on the sound so it's clearly explained here it is important that you listen to the sound and not only look at the letter you can look at the letter but don't go by that for example the word unicorn begins with ya y sound see look at the letter that is written here that looks like ja j it's not j it is ya ya it's a phonetic symbol unicorn begins with ya sound or y sound so you should use a before that so if you go by the letters what will happen see you you will be tempted to use an so you will say an university u is a vowel but that is wrong why is it wrong the word university begins with the sound y ya ya the letter ya is it a swara or vyanjana it is a vyanjana is a consonant it's not a vowel so since the word university or unicorn begins with the sound ya you have to make use of a not an uniform a uniform unique a unique person a unique object you can't say an unique object okay european see look at the word european what is spelling it begins with e e is a vowel no doubt then comes u u is also a vowel but you can't say an european because the word european begins with the sound ya u u o ya is a consonant so we should use a so unicorn a unicorn uniform a uniform university a university look at the last one now the word honor begins with o it is not a it is o so you should use an before that look at the word honor now how do you look at the spelling it begins with h h ha no doubt it's a consonant it's a vyanjana ha is a vyanjana isn't it but how do you pronounce the word honor do you say honor no it is honor what is the first sound that you hear a oh. it is not ho here h is silent so when you use such words in which h is silent you cannot use a though h is a consonant you have to make use of an before such words for example an honest man an honorable man honest h o n e s t but h is silent the sound that you hear is o o is a swara vowel so an honest man so look at some of the some more examples here i drive dash blue car i drive dash blue car the word that comes after the article is blue what is the first sound that you hear when somebody says blue ba right blue ba is a consonant so a is used next one they have dash 
old house the word that comes after the article is old when you say old you hear the sound o o is a vowel swara so an is used next they saw a cat in the alley they saw a cat the word that comes after the article is cat the word cat begins with the sound ka ka is a consonant so a is used next one i bought dash used car so look at the word used that begins with the sound ya yeah, u just like university european unicorn uniform so the article is uh, you can't use and though there is u here so i bought a used car 